Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up network interface card teaming on Ubuntu. This is sometimes referred to as bonding, but what's going to happen is we're going to add an extra network interface card to the system and set these up to work as a team in, so they can load balance traffic and also act in a high availability state such that if one network card fails or the link breaks or maybe just, you know, the Ethernet cable gets unplugged, it'll, the traffic will fail over seamlessly to one card or the next until we can resolve that issue. So first things first, let's log into our server. This is the same server that I set up, exact same configuration set up in my last video, which I'll provide a link to. And let's go ahead and check out the installed network card. So we've just got one here, and you can see what the IP address is here. So to set up uh, an additional network card, we're going to have to add in uh, add an additional one onto guest. So what I'm going to do is power off this guest and add one. So sudo power off, and that'll shut the guest down. I'll just edit the configuration. And we'll add a device second network adapter, add, and we'll just keep it as the same settings as we did before. So I have network adapter and network adapter 2, which is fine. And then we'll start everything back up. Okay, logging back in, and let's check our network configuration now. That we have another one, in, another one set up. It's probably not configured, but let's check it anyway. Okay, cool. So, uh, FO zero or e, ETH F zero. That's our original one, and EF one. That's our uh, additional one we set up, and this right here, this LO. That's our just our loop back. We don't have to worry about that for right now. So one of the first things that we're going to have to add in here would be the library that's going to help us bind to these. And that binder, uh, library that we're going to use is our application uh, is called e, is IF and slave. It's kind of a weird name. It's like interface s 2.6. We have to use 2.6. If you read through the docs, that's for um, Ubuntu 12 and up. So let's go ahead and install that. No, oh, missed an install there. It's okay. So yeah, just add that in there. Okay. So before we can actually start configuring these, we need to check to make sure that the bonding module is loaded in for the kernel. So go ahead and go su vi etc modules and that will show us what we have left. So I don't see it here so we'll just go ahead and add it in. So we'll just go bonding and then right quit and that's added in there now. So now we should be good with that. So the next step we're going to need to stop the networking. So if we do sudo stop networking, well, that one kind of gives you a little bit of an issue, which isn't really a big problem. You know, it's actually not the way to do it now. So what you want to do instead is actually stop the network uh, devices. So we'll do if down and then specify the device. So we'll have to do it for zero. And then what we'll have to do is also do it for one. I have down one. Okay, that one wasn't configured, so it didn't really matter. So anyway, if we actually go back to our terminal, since the network cards are actually down, if we connect to it, we shouldn't be able to. And you can see that because it's timing out in the session, so we'll just get out of there now. So what we need to do now is make sure that the bonding module is loaded into the kernel. Well, we can how we can do that is just by going sudo, sudo 
mod probe bonding, and that'll load it in there. At this point, we can start actually editing our uh, network heart interfaces file, change them. So what we'll do now is sudo by um, etc network interfaces, and we'll and we'll add it in here. So the first one we have right here, this is our loopback, and this is our original one, which is okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this from DHCP. So shift insert and change this to manual because I don't need it. And then what we'll do next is uh, the reason it's manual is because the bond uh, zero, the interface that we'll create in a couple lines here, is gonna configure that for us and we'll be all set. So uh, the next thing I need to do is I need to tell it which bond is the master bond. So I go bond master is bond zero. And then we'll tell it this is actually the primary interface for the bond uh, or the TU. Um, I'll do that by bond primary uh, EF zero. Okay, so now we'll add Just call it Nick, doesn't really matter. So, we need to configure our second uh, network interface card. Um, what we'll do with that is we'll just call it auto EF1 and we'll put the I face EF1 INET. So, it's exactly the same as uh, EF0 and put manual on it also because we'll allow the bond to, to do that. And we'll set its bond to bond zero. So same thing as before. Bond master bond zero. Okay. And we'll have the bond zero configuration here. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll have auto bond zero. And then what we'll want to do is most configurations have the bond set up as a static IP and there's nothing wrong with that. But for this particular tutorial, this purpose, because we're in VMware Fusion, I just want VMware and the way it has its networking set up to do that for me. I don't want to have to do that. So we'll set the I face bond zero INET to GHCP and that'll do automatic address assignment. The next piece is actually setting which kind of bond configuration or team configuration that we want to use. Uh, there's actually a bunch of different ones. And uh, there's everything from round robin to uh, some teaming pairs to active standby and everything. We're going to use uh, mode 6, which will act as an HA pair for us. So we'll do bond mode six. And then we have to set a couple more parameters in here. Next one is bond, uh, is it, I don't know how to pronounce that one, it's MIMON 100. What this is, is it's the frequency that the bond monitors the links. So uh, it's gonna monitor the links for failure and it's doing it in milliseconds. So every 100 milliseconds, it's gonna check to see if the bond, or I'm sorry, the network interface card is down or the link is down or anything like that to do it active failover. The next thing we have to set is the bond LACP rate. And this is uh, the rate at which uh, the bond will tell the partner interface card to transmit packets. So there's really only one or um, two configurations for this, and it's one and zero. One pretty much means transmit every second, and zero means transmit every 30 seconds. So usually they're just referred to as fast and slow. We're going to keep it fast and just put one on here. And then we need to just list the bond slaves that we have, which are which ones it can use. So ideally, if you wanted to add in a third in network interface card, you know, maybe it was called... EF2 or something, you could 
do the exact same configuration as this up here and just change it to two on both of these and list it down here with the rest of these. So slaves and we're listing EF0, EF1. Okay, now we need to save the file. So escape, colon, right quit, and we should be good now. Now we can see that our bond is running on 192.168.199.128 and we have the first network card and the set, set work, second network card. So if we do SSH 192.168.1. I'm sorry, 199.128. That should allow us to connect and it does. And now we're into the box. So we can actually play around with this and disable one network card at a time and see if it fails over. So um, one of the things we can do is do uh, EF tool and specify the name of the interface. So if we do on zero, it's going to take us tell us a uh, link detected down here, which is fine. And if we do the same thing for EF zero, we're going to do the exact same thing. And if we do it for EF1, of course it's the same thing. So what we'll do now is we'll go over into uh, the settings for the server and disable one of the network cards. So we'll disable the first one, which is EF0. So what we'll do is just uncheck that. And it said reset adapter, which is fine. So can we still log into the box? Well, we were logged in. Let's exit and then we'll re-log into it and we can still log in no problem. So, so we failed over automatically with no problems. And if we check to see if that interface is still running, link detected, no. And then if we do the same thing on the other interface, EF1, link detected, yes. So now what happens when we do the other network interface? We should lose everything actually. Well, we should just lose I mean, connectivity. So we'll go ahead and disable that one. And then get a little message down here, which is fine. A little broadcast message. And now, if I type into the terminal, it's actually kind of frozen because it doesn't have any uh, network connectivity to it. So if we do EF, or EF tool, EF zero no and one no and then if we go to the bond we have zero and it's actually going to say link detected no at the very bottom which is fine so let's go ahead and bring it up let's add those back in there we'll just add one at a time connect this one and then if we do it again oh our connection is restored automatically like that so if we go back and we do the bond again, we have link detected yes. So we can bring these back up, both back up, and they'll work in a team from now on. So what I'll do is I'll post this configuration online in the YouTube comments and any other additional steps that we need to do for it, uh, and along with the commands uh, for doing this, and also links to the Ubuntu documentation. The Ubuntu documentation is a little bit outdated or old, that's fine but uh, I'll post the corrections in the blog post. Anyway, thanks, and maybe next time we'll work on something with Nginx or uh, databases or something else.